Hello, my friends. Hi, everybody. We're so energetic to have you here tonight. <laughs> it's a gym. And Dave's beer view. view. There we go. Nice energy, Dave. Uh, hey, what are we reviewing now? Uh, we got some uh, a treat here. Looks like. Jeez. It's a, 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 a KBS, a KBS. from uh, Founders. Spicy chocolate. Oh, spicy, huh? Spicy chocolate. I like chocolate. Chocolate goes well. It says here it's a 12% ABV. Okay. So 45 IBU. It's barrel aged. Nice. The hops are nugget and Williamette. The malts are oaks, chocolate, and roasted barley. Okay. Tasting notes. Dark chocolate, coffee, and dry peppers with a hint of vanilla, oak, and smoke. It says here, KBS spicy chocolate heat meets sweet. Heat meets sweet. KBS spicy chocolate is a blend of sweet and spicy that comes together like a sensory symphony. Hmm. Sensory symphony, huh? This batch of KBS is made with dried chilies and chocolate for a rich, mole-inspired punch of flavors. Mole-inspired. Mole's a mole. Mexican uh, stout. Mole. Stout. Okay. Right? Expect. I don't know. You know. I don't know. The, I don't know what that means. Okay, mole. Okay. Expect dark chocolate and dry peppers with hints of smoke and a spicy finish that lingers just long enough to be cooled by your next sip. I, I like lingering spices. A unique and unexpected twist to our KBS. Now, this is going to be hot. All right. That sounds that way, huh? Do you mean that it's hot, this, though? Well, maybe in addition to the chili, dried chilies, maybe there's some ABV uh, heat in there, too. I just want to put it out there. If you don't like this, I'll drink the rest of your beer. You have that much confidence in this beer. I have that much confidence. Yes. Okay. Well, KBS has never failed us yet. Cheers. This is spicy, though. It goes down night. Finish is hot. Yep, definitely a little spice in the back of the throat there. Mm, not really. Oh, no, I get, I definitely get impacted. No, right not really. Hmm. I'm a little let down. How hot did you want it to be? For not me, though, I think this, this is a little hot, but it's manageable. No, I want it to, to make my eyes blow up a little. Well, I can go get some. We can put it in there. No, I want it to come out of the bottle like that. No. Yes. No. I'm sorry, but you, you didn't meet enough of my expectations of how hot this would be. Well, you said it You got yourself all worked up. You got to maintain I your did. dispassion. Dried peppers, damn it. I, I had uh, stuff from another brewery Ooh. that I had a four, uh, variety pack of four different uh, spicy beers, and they were all hotter than this. Well, if my failing memory seems to serve, this does seem to be in the mole style it's of stuff. It's a little watery, too, by the way. I actually, in this case with the heat, I'm appreciating the watery mouthfeel because I feel the coolness of it does help to quench the heat of the previous sip, as they said uh, in the oh, description, as I recall. So yeah, that's nice. I'll give this, I actually want to like give it less of a score because of the heat. I'm not a big fan of it, but in this case... I think it works. I've had some really hot watery. stuff that Dave's brought over here, and I was just like, no, this sucks. It's watery, too. It's, yeah, it, it does have a thinner oh, mouthfeel, but maybe that's in response to having those chilies in there. Yeah, I give it like a 6.75. I'm going to give it a 7. I think it's the best okay. one of the night. Uh, I love the roasted notes. It was a really simple malt fill to me. I thought that's... Even though it's 12%. I mean, 12%. Yeah, I mean, the 12%, percent, it's great to have, you know, that level of ABV from the malt, but there's malts for like a very, you know, three malts and a malt bill for this. It's almost like they're expecting the chocolate and the dried chilies to carry the flavor. And I, I think if that's what they were going for, it did succeed. I don't know if it's this thin of mouthfeel, it's really worth barrel aging. You know, we need barrel aging. Mm. They've added some vanilla, a little bit of oak notes, but you know, it's not in the forefront, it, but it's definitely there. You know, the heat and the chocolate definitely overshadow all the barrel aging notes i'm, I'm sure it adds something but still not convinced it was worthwhile so 6.75 out of 10 well we had me. to drink it because it was here oh we're gonna finish it and i'm no, gonna finish it too uh, I'm I'm gonna gonna finish i think it said 6.75 that's not bad it's just well, it's a little low for the KBS. watery part brings it under a seven for me okay well there you go that's, that's like fair the watery part. 
And it should be a little hotter too. If you say if you no, put dry no. peppers, it should be hotter. Totally disagree. This is should have made my eyes swell up. And make I don't like my eyes. Don't, do that. don't hurt yourself. I don't want to hurt myself. Yeah, yeah obviously. Mm. Yeah, let me help. Mm, I don't want to hurt myself. Mm. Anyway, as I was saying, seven out of ten from me. Six point seven five out of ten from Dave. Okay. It's a Jim and Dave beer review. We'd like to say the Surgeon General's warning, which is that women who are pregnant should not drink alcoholic beverages due to the risk of birth effects. Right. You should not operate heavy machinery. Or drive a vehicle if you're under the influence of alcohol. And of course, excessive drinking can cause health problems. Right. And the reason we do all these different beer reviews yeah. is we believe that you, our viewers, should drink great beer. And have a good laugh between your friends. Your friends. Subscribe to our channel. Thumbs them. up, thumbs down, and comment below and copy that link button to wrap it all up with a bow. With a bow. And we'll see you next time on the Jim and Dave Beer Review. Right. Yes, Colonel. No. LeBeau. Right. LeBeau. Remy LeBeau. <laughs> Comment below if you know what we're referencing. Don't say anything. And we will see you next time, my friend. Good beer review week. Bye-bye, Dave.